Oh, I'm live. Hi, guys. So, I would be sitting here in the, um, in the tent. And I feel like waxing, um, eloquent. I could. Can you see anything out there? No, I can't see anything in the tent. Yeah. I'm kind of waiting for the deer. I'm sitting in here in the dark. Let's just get this little flashlight thing on. So you can see me. What's the best way to do this? I'd rather it didn't shine on. Shine on silver green. You know, if you have a Google Home device and you start singing a song like that, you can say, okay, Google, turn on or play. And they'll find that song somewhere out there on the great wide web. So I had fun at my friend Cindy's today. Nobody's here yet. Well, people will watch it later, though, right? So I found out my deer came last night and the night before. It was so good. Or no, not the night before. He skipped a night. came last night and the day before the day before. So his name is Wolf. But, you know, I watched that uh, an old video of Wolf and Dot. And um, Wolf's ears, his fur in his ears was much bigger, I think. And his eye ring. I take that off, eh? Anyway, his eye ring, which goes around, it had kind of a, a square area where it jutted out a little bit. So it didn't just go around. It went around, got big, got small, went around. And that was who Wolf was back in the day. But now, this one, I don't think it was Wolf last night. Now there's another one that's just named Ivan. And it's got a very bright white eye ring. And there was um, Swallowtail. He was a big, a big doe. She. And Oh, and Underbite. Underbite was a big, big one, too. And they would step on each other if one was in front at the food bowls. We tried to line them up so that the deer wouldn't all... But they just follow the leader. So the leader goes to the first bowl and everybody's behind waiting. But if you scatter the bowls far enough, then they'll eat from all of them. Is it a ground? Did you hear it? It must be on this video. I have very bad hearing, so if I heard it, you must have heard it. I would see her come right up to her house. She'll be simply outside feeding the deer, putting it on benches all around. And the deer would just stay there. It's really hard to see with that light in my eyes. Last night I heard the coyotes. There were so many of them. It was like two groups and there were a dozen in each group. There was a lot of voices when they 
when they made when they started howling. And there were young ones that were making a a smaller kind of sound, like barking. And there were some that were just howling straight. And there were others in a, that had a higher pitch to howl. Gotta take off these glasses. So that's too much. Try and experiment with the shadow. I could put the shadow so that the light wouldn't get me, so I could still see you. But that would not be possible. Really. Because if I have the shadow over my eye, you can't see my eye. If I don't have the shadow over my eye, it's a blinding white light. The savior is supposed to be brighter than that. It's supposed to be brighter than the sun at noonday. I wonder if it was in my chair. Let's see. Somebody's chopping the or something. Maybe, maybe hitting it with a, a sledgehammer to make them go apart. They're frozen together. I think that might be my neighbors across the road. Did I tell you about how I I um, crashed their wedding. That was very fun. It was like 11 o'clock at night. There was this beautiful rock and roll music. And I just felt like dancing to it. And so I just decided after an hour or two of this that I wanted to go and find out where this music was coming from. And so I walked over and was coming from the people across the road and I went to the house because, you know, I'm a guest coming to their house. I should go see their house instead of just enter the party. And I met her mother-in-law and it was her wedding day. And the two of them were young and they owned this house. They just bought it. It's a lovely property. Oh, hi, somebody's here. Let's see who's here. Jack. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Jack? Now, you're in England, right? You were here in the morning, 3 a.m. or something. I like doing these video things because I can actually talk to you guys. But you have to type, and I just have to talk. But then we aren't early on the same subject because I keep changing the subject. So you know what I'm curious about? I get about four people a day subscribe. Maybe six, maybe nine. Anyway, there's a certain amount that subscribe every single day. And I wonder why, what makes them subscribe? What is it that catches their eye? Was it information that they wanted? Was it um, like learning how to do something? Or was it just some people like to listen because it helps them fall asleep. Hi, Jack. You're good? It's 10.51 p.m. Oh, this is a better time of day than 3 a.m., I guess. Um, love them anyway, 22. I like meeting you in real time. Seeing you in real time, yes. But I got um, to make this whole thing bigger. Oh, look at that. I'm small, but at least I can read what you guys are saying. Yeah, you're in California. Are you not getting burned out, are you? What's happening where you are? I forget exactly where you were. I think you're near a big city. Anyway, my sister's in San Francisco area. And she's very concerned about fire. Because I guess California's burning. 
Yeah, it's really nice to talk to you when I really know exactly how many people are here. Two. There are two people. Hi, Jack. Hi. Loves them anyway. Did I ever know what your real name was? Did you give it? Was there a shorter name I could use? Call you Love? Jack, have you ever called it this Liverpool in England? Yes, I've heard of that. Doesn't that, and I, sorry, but my real knowledge of England comes from really important sources. Mary Poppins. So I, oh, and fair, my fair lady, you see. Everything I ever needed to know, I learned by going to the movies. Anyway, Liverpool, isn't that where my fair ladies, um, is Liverpool, is in a coastal city? Seems like there's a lot of boots and wet in Liverpool. Well, I can't remember. Oh, you're about an hour and a half away from the fires. Air quality was terrible, but it's clear now. Now, which one is that? The campfire, which is now out. What's the other one called? Forget. Notice why I could remember the name campfire. Oh, today when I went to get Des Desi at the bus, I um, I made a campfire for him. I tried, but I had. The junipers that I had were green and the boughs and the branches that I had from outside had ice on them and were wet. And the logs were wet. Everything was wet. And even the leaves were wet. And then I, so I went out in the woods and I got some birch bark. And so I put the birch bark in there and that lit, that went right way, kept hot until it was burned out and it hadn't had time to light everything else on fire. Oh, light the fire, and you place the flowers in the box that you bought today. Oh, only for you, you and I. La, 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 la. I know you feel down. Sorry. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm sorry. I was get distracted. Oh, Marie. Yes, I know you have. You've been following me for years. You've been very good to me. And um, I live in Liver Jack. I live in Liverpool. Yes, it is a coastal city. It's a city where the Beatles were born. Oh, the Beatles. I couldn't figure out why all these girls were just screaming while they sang. I just thought, sit down and be quiet. Listen to the music. I can't imagine doing that. I don't know. Anyway, that was a little unusual, maybe. Well, it is clear. Um... Yes, campfire. Bless that town and all the people affected. I know, I pray for them. There are so many people in the world right now that are being displaced. So many, thousands and thousands in this area and thousands in another city and in another country and those islands. And Do you know that there's an island that bought land on Fiji because their, land, their island is sinking? There's water in the people's houses. I mean, it's, it's dirt floors and... Um, grass huts are very poor there, but isn't that cool that the government bought part of Fiji so they would have a place to live? So they're resettling there as they feel like it. Have you ever been stargazing? Yes, totally. You know, I love to go stargazing with someone and a, and a flashlight. Because if you've got a flashlight, you can shine it up in the sky and there's probably enough clouds that you can see where the flashlight is aiming. And so you can actually point to the stars. And both people, all people will be able to see which star it is. Whereas if you use your finger, forget it. I used to learn all those constellations. I would, I had, the window I had in the upstairs bedroom, in the big room, that faced over the field. Um, I hear these little noises. There are three cats that live under the deck. And I think one of them came out a little while ago. 
we like to eat the compost because our our other family upstairs eats a lot of um, food that they like protein foods you know animal based foods we are vegan unless I really feel like having some meat then I'll have some I'm not strict about anything except I'm now strict about gluten free I don't want to get any oh oh so love them anyway says I'm in my sewing room as I listen to you thank you for keeping me company Nancy oh this is nice this is really nice we could all have cups of tea together yes in the house I can hear the children sometimes I hear a, a thump you know Desmond jumping or sometimes I hear them coming up and down the stairs like like a herd of elephants that's what my mother used to call me my father you sound like a herd of elephants just take it easy on the stairs Nancy I would take great leaps down the stairs. Yeah, not really normal person. I was accident prone. You know why I was accident prone? My father said I was accident prone, which I don't know really what that means. Is that a word he made up or is that a real thing? So are you sewing love them anyway, Marie? What are you sewing? I want to start sewing aprons. I like aprons. I'd like to have an apron. A really pretty apron that I could wear over my clothes when I go out. You know? Like a day apron. It's all one color, like white lace or something. Or white cotton with a lacy um, emboss or whatever. That's one idea. Got to be so careful with these ideas. All right, now. If you want to fall on your face, you're going to have to stop. Oh, here we are. Nancy, I was vegetarian for over 40 years, but now a vegan for the past seven years. I'm interested in your new diet. I love my new diet. It's so good. I eat legumes. I have my Instant Pot now, but before that, I just put two cups of water in the pot and a cup of split red lentils, for instance. But there's like 12 varieties of beans you can get. And some of them are all different kinds of lentils, mung beans, aduki beans, and then there's the peas and chickpeas and green peas and yellow peas and split green peas and soybeans and chickpeas and black eyed peas. And you know, you get the idea. So, what I could do is I make a thing of a pot of, of that. Sometimes I'll add millet, I'll add like one part bean and two parts no equal part yeah I was always putting in two cups of water for one cup of stuff oh and then I have those my church the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has this provident living um part to the to our church and so we are taught to um store what you eat and grow what you eat and store what you grow and they also have the storehouse, like in the doctrines, we have a bishop's storehouse, and that's for feeding the poor. And so um, a Relief Society president, who's the woman in charge of the women, she will go visit the family in need, and um, they'll have a, a, a grocery shopping list. It's a form, and they make check marks, and decide she can decide what she wants and then the relief society president takes it and submits it to well it used to be we used to take them they would come into the storehouse i worked in the storehouse a few times oh 